welcome back to Nomadius. The name I chose is Thaddeus. Right now I'm about to hop on this train. I'm here in the UK, in the greater London. And I'm here to talk to you guys about the road of success because we're on the road of success. So join me on this journey as I hop on my road of success and I share what the road of success is all about. Hey mama. We're taking the, oh, it's an empty train. By Charing Cross, terminating at Kennington. Taking the empty underground line. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining the family. Make sure to like the video right now. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share this with your people. Much love to you. And let's see what this journey has got in store for us. I think we're headed to, what was the name, Mama? Battersea Power Station. Battersea Power Station. What's there, I don't know, but that's a kind of the point about the road of success. You have a destination and you're trying to get there. And when you get there, it may not always be what you think it is, but that's not the reason why you're going. It's because you have, an, you have something to envision and you're following your heart. All right, let's go mama. All right. Hopefully y'all can hear me in this underground train here. One of the most popular ways people transfer, transport here in London. You know, Yuan told me that he thinks I should do my next video with an accent, but I just can't. I just gotta be myself all the way. And I might throw it in a little bit, you know, here and there, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be myself because that's that to me is the most important part to your road of success being as if you want your success to be authentic to you as if you want your success to be what you envision not what someone else envisions because when you're being your, yourself you attract opportunities that are meant for you you attract people that are meant for you and especially with people that come around you during your road of success, they're gonna give you recommendations on how to get there. But if you're not being your authentic and true self, then these people are not able to help you get to your real success, which you actually envision, which you actually decide on making into a reality. I'm gonna start at the beginning of the road of like, when you either are turning on that getting into your car and hopping on that road, whether you're leaving your house and as you saw me doing earlier, starting to walk to the bus or you're walking to your destination, taking a train, taking a bike, whatever it is your means to physically get to your road, of, get onto your road of success. The first thing you're usually trying to figure out is all right, what's my destination, what's my goal? So you got to start there. So for me, how I've started there is I always have my goals written down on a piece of paper. Well, before you pause it, hold on, before you pause it. I want you to get a white piece of paper, okay? doesn't matter. It could be a post-it, whatever it is. All right, fine. Maybe you don't have a paper around you. Use your phone. And I want you to write down 10 things that you believe you can accomplish. The next station this year. is Brent Cross. No, it's November. Okay, the year's ending. It's fine. So, let's go for the next year. All right, let's go for 2024. Or whatever year you're watching this in. So, when you're writing those goals, I want you to also imagine writing goals that you don't think you can achieve, that you think are a little bit unachievable for where you're at today. Because that's where the growth this comes. Of accomplishing something that you didn't know was possible for you within the span of a year or whenever it generally happens. And that's how you grow your capability to achieve.
I'm now here in Camden, my next stop, because you gotta make stops along, you know, your journey. And I stopped for some pasta that I saw the other day. You see, even my mom's a vegan, but she came to look over at it because it looks so delicious. Just make sure that along your road to success, as you're taking stops, enjoy the journey. Right now, we have a destination to get to, but I'm enjoying my journey. I'm gonna make sure I am fed. Let's go find you some vegan food, mama. I'm currently about to go crazy on this fettuccine alfredo, one of my favorite foods, if you know. And the Q&A that is, no, Maddie's, what's your favorite food? Fettuccine alfredo. It's a uh, scratch, they make it from scratch. The cheese, the pasta, all of it. I mean, of course, other than the parsley, which they might grow themselves. And one reason why I love this place in Camden is, let me show you how people enjoy their meals. These little like bubbles that people enjoy their food and it's like see-through and it's inviting. And I've come to my favorite coffee place ever. This is a big one? That's a big one goes more. Let me show you guys. Big one? Yeah. Let me have what he has. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had oat milk too, yeah. How's it going Mike? Not too bad. Good to see you. I'm doing great. Circling back to Camden. I, I, I had to come back for some more coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you doing the same, yeah? Please. Yeah. Yes. So I'm here, Camden Coffee, here with Mike, the one of the best baristas I've ever, ever met. <laughs> About to have my favorite coffee, and I didn't know that I could enjoy coffee so much. Oh yeah. Don't know if I should share the secret with you guys. Maybe Mike will. Maybe I just have to watch me drink it. But it's my, this is probably my third coffee in the past two days here from here. <laughs> it's a, it's basically just a chai latte, chai tea latte with oat milk and add some coffee to it and it'll blow, it'll, it'll, just, it'll just blow you away. It's just amazing. <laughs> so I really like this place in Camden. All right, so where we left off, right? You got your paper, you got your goals on your paper that you think are achievable, that you may not think are achievable. And I want you to put a date for when you're gonna get them done, a date for when it will be achieved. So if it's to read five books, right? For example, right, read five books by the end of January or the end of February or whatever the goal that you believe is achievable for you. And that way you'll give yourself a target and a due date so it's putting your goal into actual action. All right, right, so now you got your goal and I want you to put it on your wall. I want you to put it somewhere where you'll see it every single day so when you get up, you know where you're going. A train, for example, has train tracks and knows exactly where it's going, when it starts and when it ends. So in that same way, every day when you wake up and you read your paper, you give yourself a purpose for where you're gonna go. You know that if I have to get this done, then I have to go this way. It gives yourself that clarity of whether you need to go left or right. It gives you that clarity of whether you need to go purchase this or not. So make sure to put it on your wall and see the magic. Watch the magic happen. Just believe and watch the magic happen. And the next step coming soon at our next destination because in the meantime, my pasta is getting a little cold. I got to enjoy it. So go get something to eat and let's enjoy the journey together. This one's even more coffeeier. I kind of like it more. Yeah, I kind of strayed away from the. Still has hints of chai. Can I see my breath? All right, so I'm enjoying my food. Right, it's very good. I'm gonna be honest. My mom's is much better. But before we left, I wanted to mention to you guys. And now you got it on your wall, your journey's already started. Your journey already started when you decided where to go. All right? So, we got into our train, got to our destination, ordered some food, we're enjoying the journey, and now we're getting back onto our track. We never actually left, because that's the thing about your destiny, your success. If you're really following where you're supposed to be, it's not gonna be a straight path. It's gonna go like this, and it's gonna go like this, and it may go like this, and it may go like this. But at the end of the day, you're gonna end up at your destination. That's the point of life. 
I'm gonna finish up this pasta and we're gonna head back to the train. Camden Station. On our way to Battersea. Then we got some other stuff planned. The reason I'm sharing this with you guys today is because I'm on my road to success. And it's been challenging and sometimes I'm doubting myself, or at least I think I'm doubting myself, and then I come back to believe in myself. One thing I always remember is where I've come from, where I am now, shows to me where I will be. Here, we're here fam, we're here in Battersea. Check this out. We've got some really quite fascinating architecture around us right now. And so I know I gave you guys a little bit of a snippet about myself earlier, my road to success. So let me let me elaborate that on that a little bit for you guys. So for me Thaddeus, the thing about me and my success is that it's, it's different than what I thought it was going to be three years ago. And I've explained that in multiple videos, but lately I've been realizing that the success that I'm building, why I have such high expectations for myself is because it's different than the success that my parents have gone through. If you ask me, my parents personally are very successful people coming to a country, having a family, raising children to be beautiful people who love and care for people and are here to help people, kept me healthy, kept me strong, call it successful. So f for me, my road of success is it's gonna, it's different, it's totally different. Because I went to school, grew up in a different country, but I'm here to build intergenerational wealth. And so lately, as I mentioned in the last video, like I got a new role at my school that I'm really happy about. So another success, another marathon milestone. But I, something about me is feeling like I'm just, I'm just so hungry. I'm so, just so much more ambitious than that. Sometimes I'll sit there and I'll ask myself, like, what am I doing right now that's helping me be successful? I've got my creative passions. I'm an artist. I'm helping people every day. Helping myself. But what? What's missing? And there was a recent video that I watched where it talked about a lot of us are stuck on what we, we think we have to do. But rather, we need to focus on who we have to be. And right now, I need to be patient. I'm gonna be a patient person because the seeds that I've already planted and that I continue to water, they're gonna keep growing. When you plant a tree, you don't necessarily know how high it's gonna grow. <laughs> you don't always know your yield. That doesn't stop you from planting. You plant because you trust in the fruit or the growth that will come from whatever you've planted, your road of success. If you look around us, a building, the city wasn't built in one day. 
So you got to ask yourself, what am I building right now that's going to take a while for me to get to? And what do, who do I have to be to accomplish that? So for me, I'm going to be patient. I am being patient. That way, I can continue to be successful. You don't want to just have success. You want to be successful. It's windy here. So hopefully you can hear me. But what I'm getting at is you started your journey. You put your goals on your wall so you know where you're going. We kept going. I shared my experience. So you can share your experience so we can all learn from each other. You know who you have to be rather than what you have to do. Because when you know who you have to be, then you know what you have to do. And now you just got to find that motivation to keep going. So take that time for yourself to find out what motivates you. What motivates me is people. Look, this guy behind me. That person. All these people around me. They all motivate me to be my best self. To you watching this right now, you motivate me to be patient. You motivate me to reach higher levels. You motivate me to be my truest self. I'm thankful and I'm grateful for this YouTube journey, this community we've started. It's been a beautiful journey and I'm on my road to success. So as I continue to go through here in Battersea as the people are driving on the other side of their cars here in, in England, in London. So while I'm here in Battersea, all these beautiful people, beautiful weather around me, my kind of weather. Let's see what this road of success has got as we continue to go and as we continue to be ourselves. I just want to share with you guys, as somebody who's an artist, not necessarily behind closed doors, someone who's an artist right now in front of all of these people, it takes confidence to do this. People will look at you crazy. People will also be amazed. People will be inspired and motivated by what you're doing. But you got to tune all that out. You got to just tune all that out. You got to do what you got to do because you have an audience that, you're, that loves you and you're here for them. And if these people join, great. And sometimes when people are watching you and they might give you that energy that you're not looking for, it's because you're doing something they can't. So keep going, keep going, because you're inspiring people. You're on your road for success. Okay, so I'm just learning something about the Battersea Power Station. I'm going to read it with you guys real quick. It's a history in the making. It's this beautiful mall we've got here. Beautifully done. Give you guys a better view from the other side. But from the 1930s to 1980s, Battersea Power Station was a working power station at its peak. Produce, it was producing a fifth of London's power, supplying electricity to some of London's most recognizable landmarks, such as the Houses of Parliament in Buckingham Palace. And in 1929, that's when work began on site. So you can read here for yourselves. These are the famous telephone boxes. The original proposals uh, were for the chimneys to be square than the circular. And then in 1935, the first stage of the power station was completed. In 1940, RAF pilots use the plumes of white vapor from the chimneys to guide them home in the mist. So what I showed you guys outside, right? Maybe you recognize that. And then in 1946, Queen Elizabeth and, and uh, then Princess Elizabeth and her grandmother, Queen Mary, are joined by several dignitaries who are shown around control room A in the power station. I believe that's it for the... Oh! Nope, it keeps going, it keeps going, because that's the road for success. Look at this road. Oh my God, everything is coming into fruition today. 
All right, so in 1955, the fourth chimney in the second stage, the power station is complete. You can read there yourself. And then in 1964, on April 20th, an electrical failure at Battersea Power Station caused power failures throughout London, including at the BBC Television Center, which was due to a launch. That was due to launch BBC Two that night. Wow. Wow, look at how that road success interrupted. 1977, an inflatable pink pig um, floated, floating between the two southern chimneys appears on the front cover of Pink Floyd's album, Animals. <laughs> Some album artwork. Okay, and then in 1980, we've got the power station is awarded grade two listed status, awarded by the historic England uh, listed buildings and listed buildings mark and celebrate the building's special architectural and historic interest. In 1983, the power station closes and ceases to generate electricity. Huh? It goes on to be purchased by in 1987 by Battersea Leisure. Interesting. And here in 2007, the power station is upgraded to Grade Two listed status. Less than 6% of listed buildings fall into this category. It's particularly important buildings of more than special interest. In 2012, we've got the power station is purchased by the current shareholders. Wow, wow, wow. Look at their road to success. Oh my gosh, 2017, chimney replacement works completed. Okay, okay, notice that they are a different color. And here we got 2022. Not too long ago, Battersea Power Station opens to the public on the 14th of October. And now here we are in 2023. Over 140 shops and restaurants open with much more to come. Could you imagine? Can you guys imagine? Can you guys imagine when this first was built? You think they knew that this was gonna become a place for us to tour like this? No, that's just how their road, it's just how their success happened it's just how it unfolded but they started a project they followed through they completed it and it turned into something much more than they thought it could have been how beautiful that right there shows you the road of success so as we walk up this escalator that's on the left side <laughs> everything is a little backwards here in the UK this power station, as you can tell, there's a lot of sacrifices that went into building something monumental like this to become a landmark for people to see for generations to come. And it got me thinking about the sacrifices that you have to make on your road of success. One, as an artist, sometimes when you, you have a vision of what you need to make, sometimes you have to just scrap it all because it doesn't work. And sometimes you want to feed your audience, but sometimes you just don't want to feed your audience. You just want to go with your vision. It's about making those, those proper sacrifices. And to other sacri sacrifices that you have to make, they include physical sacrifices, mental sacrifices, emotional sacrifices, spiritual sacrifices. And that might come off weird, but, I'm, but what I'm trying to say is choosing the right spiritual path for yourself. So maybe having to go against, maybe you went the religious route and now you want to go a spiritual route. So that includes kind of moving away from certain communities that you used to be a part of or, or the way people think about you. And I can say for myself, I have personally made a lot of sacrifices to get to where I'm at today. And it wasn't easy and it doesn't continue to be easy because temptations will keep coming at you. I'm constantly tempted to go certain routes, but because I have my goals on my wall and I'm on my road for success, I know those, those temptations aren't right for me. And then sometimes the best part about your road for success is maybe sometimes you do fall into your, those temptations. And then you come out and you learn and from those mistakes and learning from those lessons, you get back onto your road. Like I mentioned before, the road is not, it's not linear. So 
whether it's a financial sacrifice in my life I've made or it's a physical sacrifice I've made. For example, for me, having to move away from certain substance uses to want to be creative, making that decision, who am I going to choose to be? Am I in my best self when I am using certain substances, substances to create? And realizing that wasn't the best for me. So now that I've moved away from that, I'm able to share this message with even more confidence that I didn't even know was possible. I always thought that I'd have to be on certain substances to get my message out, to bring that creativity out of me. But this has changed. So now that I took that sacrifice, I took that step of growth, I asked myself, okay, okay, I didn't never saw this happening, what's next? And that's why I'm being patient because when being patient or when making sacrifices, shall I say, you may not understand the benefit of that sacrifice today, tomorrow, or within the next year. It can take a while, but if you made that sacrifice in the choice of your best self and out of your heart, trust me, take it from me, it will work out for you. And you're continuing to pave a road that's a successful road for yourself. So I know that you're watching this video because you're somebody that's successful. You're somebody that believes you can be successful and you're somebody that continues to be successful. Success is not something that we just achieve and we get to a destination, it's over. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost like a state of being. I'm, I'm a, if you ask me, I'm succelling, 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 I'm succelling. What does succelling mean? Succel means to success and to excel. When you're excelling, you're always moving forward. So just make sure to keep succelling through making those sacrifices at what's right for you. Maybe it's this electrical station I'm at, but I'm feeling the energy right now. I'm really feeling this energy, this power station. I'm feeling empowered, I'm feeling energized to get this message out with you. So if you're enjoying the message, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit, give it a thumbs up right now. As I continue on my road of success, leaving here the Battersea power station lit up behind me. <sighs> London's really, if you ask me, a beautiful place. And I feel like I'm only getting the tourist experience. So if you're watching this and you live here in London, please let me know because I'm looking for the more cultural experience of what it's like. Preferably African-American, the black experience here within London. And one of the songs that I love to listen to that takes me back to my first time while I was here. Something new by Sir, or also Summer in November. You know, it says, I found another life in London. It's true. Well, I'm continuing on my road of success. It's true. Please go check that out. That song is really touches my heart it's just so gentle it's a it's another side of really who my true self is but uh, you know bring this all together we've found our destination we've made it clear for ourselves we're going on our journey we're continuing to make sacrifices. We're allowing for something new to always grow and happen along the journey. Let me show you guys these city. Let me show you guys these city lights behind me. So beautiful. Chilly too. I can barely feel my hands. I want to just 
end this or I guess continue and close this one part of the chapter with some affirmations of what I believe is here and what's to come for myself, for you, and for our journey. Knowing that I am where I'm meant to be. I believe in myself. I'm patient. I'm strong. And I'm intuitive. And lastly, I just want to share with you guys. When being your authentic self, so to going to your authentic success, know that the authentic path may take longer, but the moves and impact are forever legendary. So shout out to you, because we're changing the narrative through my journey, through your journey, and through our journey. Much love and respect to you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to share this with all your loved ones. <sighs> I've got some more stuff coming for you guys while I'm here in London. In the meantime, I'm just gonna continue on my path. I'm gonna continue to be patient. If you're not seeing as much content, it's because as, a, as an artist, you gotta let it be organic if you want it to be timeless. If you want it to be or timeless, you gotta let it be organic. I say it again, if you want it to be timeless, it's got to be organic. So let's keep creating our organic content with love, passion, and intuition. Before I close it off, I found another path to go down. That's the beauty, beautiful thing about the road to success. So many new other paths will open. I just want to I'm just going to say it one more time because I just wanted to hit for you guys. The authentic path may take longer, but the moves and impact are forever legendary. So with much love and respect to you, my family, no Mattias, it's going to see you soon. Cheers.